Now we'll create our like model. We'll see how we set this up to be a polymorphic relationship and then we'll update our status model so we can like statuses. We can implement the logic for this and the functionality for this later on. So under models, we are going to create a new file and this is going to be called like.php. You can call it likeable if you want, it's entirely up to you. So we namespace this under chatty models and that's it. And the class is like, and of course this extends our base eloquent model, which we need to import. So we use illuminate database eloquent model. And we set everything up as usual. So the table, now this is required because it's a slightly odd table name, likable. And here we have a method called likable. And what we do here is we say return this morph to. This says I am a polymorphic relationship. I can be I can be applied to any other model. So if we return over to our status, we need to uh, be able to grab who or what has liked a status, I guess. So what we have here is we have a method called likes, much like we'd relate to and say this has many likes or whatever. But this time what we're going to do is instead of has many, we are morphing many. And this allows Laravel to pick up which model that you're talking about and the ID, and then it will work out the relations for you. So this is chatty models like, and we just pass in the name here of the method, which is our polymorphic relation. So that's pretty much it. The only other thing we need to do on the like is obviously when a user creates a like, so we have here a user ID. We also want a relationship in here to see who liked something. So later on, if you want to output a list of people that liked something, you can do. So we'll implement this now. So user, and this is just a normal relationship. So it's just uh, return this belongs to, and then we pass in our user model. So it's chatty models user, and the foreign key is user ID. So, or the uh, local key. So we've now set up our models to actually be able to um, attach a like to any model we want. This is how we do it. If we wanted to, you know, at some point allow a user to be liked for whatever reason, uh, we would do the same thing as we've done under status for user. So we could have this in here and we could say likes morph many and it would be exactly the same thing. So you can do that later on if you want, but for now obviously we're focusing on just liking statuses. At the moment, remember we have these hard-coded values in this like link doesn't go anywhere and this count here doesn't actually represent the amount of likes each one has, but we can easily go ahead and implement that.